Uh, my name is Gary Frank Simpson. I'm an actor slash writer slash stop motionist or however you want to pronounce that one. Um, I am 28 years old. Next month I'll be 29. And I am here to tell you a little bit more about myself. Well, for me, being an actor was always one of my things. I always wanted to be like an action movie star. I always used to watch the martial arts movie, you know, Jackie Chan, Jet Li, all of them. And I always wanted to do stuff like that. Either that was going to be wrestling. So, when I tried to go for wrestling and I see these people were charging me a lot to train, I say, you know what, I'm going to take the easy route and I'm going to go into acting and I'm going to start with YouTube and eventually grow like that so that's what really made me really i just wanted to be actor just to be an action movie star and then like i started watching a lot of dramas and you know i realized i got the skills for both of them and i used to take tv broadcasts and i used to do a lot of skits and stuff in there and that's what really set the tone for me to want to be an actor more you know
if anybody I would like to work with in the world, it would be RDC World because they're funny as hell. Uh, Collab City because he's really funny and he's really creative. And I feel like me and him together can make a good video. Um, There's this group called Team Red Production that I would want to work with because they're awesome as heck. They made uh, Afro shampoos, like it's a combination of Afro Samurai and Shenron shampoo and it was just so dope the choreography was dope the music was dope everything about it was just like crazy and i like them and also this group called dragon phoenix production and i used to watch them since i was in high school and like they're still going strong and they also got some good choreography fights and they just they always been dope to me and i've been watching them since they did their little thing and especially when they teamed up with kickboxer I want to work with him too um, to make Slug Street Scrappers. So, yeah, Slug Street Scrappers. And it was just like, when I watched that, I was like, yo, I was like, I'm digging the concept. I'm digging all this and that. And third, and I want to work with them the most. Well, if you want to see any of my current work, look up. Drama and Evolution or Ricky Bell Jr. because I star in that as his brother Draymond. You can also look up Raging Wolves or Shadow Wolf Production page. That is my show where I star as Rain and I got a good cast with that one and an excellent story. I just checked it out. Um, any of my past work, look up Kings Lane High. That was my first, that was kind of our first major web series. Like, sadly, it only had four episodes, but we made the best out of those four episodes. So, you know what I'm saying? Check that out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Really, I like acting more. Well, I don't know. It's, it's really 50 50 because, like, I like writing to get my ideals out of my head. So, I'll always love writing. I don't mind writing. Like, I'll be dang near 23 chapters in or 23 scenes in of what I got and this and that and the third I, just, I always had a creative mind and as far as acting I love seeing myself like on TV or whatever I just like seeing myself like act out the part knowing I did good and then everybody be like dang Gary you did a good job man you did good on that Ross and then things man I, I, I always so I don't know it, it's 50-50 it's because I really like both of them Yeah, sorry for the change of scenery, I'm at work now, but if I had a book based on my life, it'd be called The Life and Times of Gary Frank Simpson, honestly. Honestly. Well, just a little bit, only because, you know, we're, now I gotta hold on production, and now, it seems like, you know, we really can't get nothing out there. That plus this pandemic is driving most of us crazy. So that don't help. What actor? Hmm. I don't know, because I'm a very weird person. Kind of, so I guess take digs maybe. I don't know. But that's the only one I can really think of top of my head because I don't think any other actor can really play as me and as far as what well, almost look like me. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that nigga take digs and pretty much. That I was a good person that I could act my ass off when needed to. I used to like um, the fact that I can make everybody laugh. I want them to remember me for that. And I was always there for them. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much simple because, you know, I'm just a simple person. I'm really laid back. And everybody knows that. So everybody's going to remember me for that too. Like I was pretty laid back. I was simple. I was chill. I was always there when they needed me. Pretty much it.
Um, I guess my best advice was from my aunt. She just told me to make sure everything I do, give it to God, which I have been doing. All my talents, um, all my creative mind, I always gave it to God. And, you know, he provided me the skills to do what I need to do best. So I'll get that one to my aunt right there. Um, like to be honest, I could do any type of role. Like, um, it don't really matter to me. But more so, I really have to picture myself as that character. Like, I really gotta be like, okay, could this be me if I was to act different, or is this this could be me like if I was actually a superhero or this and that and the third? I would have to really picture myself being that person. And if I could be like, okay, I that I can actually be this person, then yeah, I can do it. But if I can't, then I'll be like, yo, I don't think I can do this role. But any anything besides that, I could do any type of role, and I wouldn't care. And usually, eight eight out of ten, I knock it out of the park with ease. Honestly, just keep grinding because at the end of the day, you can't accomplish nothing just sitting around. Keep going out there, doing what you do, push your stuff out there, promote your stuff, keep doing everything you can to be a success and that's my tip for that